your piece on uh, on E60, your pieces on E60 about the disaster in Qatar, what Dan Wetzel is talking about on Yahoo Sports. It is a, a human crisis. There's no other way to put it. Is there any chance that when Blatter does eventually step down and somebody else comes in, that the Qatar games are revisited in any way, shape, or form? Is there any yeah, chance? I, I, I think there is a chance. In fact, um, someone who I've, I've interviewed in the past, Greg Dyke, who runs the English Football Association, said the other day after Blatter resigned that if he were the Qataris, he would not be sleeping very well because there will be people pushing for Revo. But I, I still think that's a long shot. I mean, first of all, Revo, I think, is a long shot. I think uh, if there is a Revo, it's quite possible Qatar could win again if it's, stay, if it's allowed to stand again. And although we've been hearing some people in certain places say they would take uh, the 2022 World Cup, such as uh, a sports minister in Victoria, in Australia, I'm not so sure that at the federal level, the United States or Australia <clears throat> or anybody else, Look, even the English, me. who say they want it, really want this World Cup tournament, uh, which many would see as damaged goods, as tainted, um, it, 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 they'd probably be happier to wait until 2026. Uh, and that being said, uh, you know, you're right. This isn't just a, a big farce. There is real human suffering taking place because of decisions that FIFA has made, because of decisions FIFA has made not to pressure Qatar to change the way that it treats its workers. I mean, the most stunning thing you could argue is that in that whole build-up to the election in December 2010 to decide who would be the host in 2018 and 2022, nobody really ever asked the question, well, exactly how are you going to build all these stadiums? How are you going to air-condition this whole country? There are only 300,000 Qataris. They pretty much don't work as laborers in the construction industry. Who's going to do all that work and how do you treat them? That never came up. All these other things about this beautiful new rail system and these beautiful hotels and restaurants and air conditioning the whole country, which all turned out to be uh, something that couldn't be done and wouldn't be done. And of course, the other aspects as well, uh, which were not um, part of the public bid. Mm -hmm. uh, but nobody, nobody cared about the workers. And I think people have started to care. And that, that represents change. But instead of just taking away the World Cup from Qatar, why not actually make sure that the lives of these workers, hmm. about two million of them, who are treated miserably and live in squalor, is, are made better, rather than just putting it in Australia or England and walking away and, and the, the, the attention of the world goes somewhere else. Do you think Seth Blatter shows up at the Women's World Cup at all? <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, uh, who, who knows? I think that he uh, has reason to be nervous about doing that. Um, because he'd be in North America. He'd be just north of the authorities that want, you know, that are, that are gunning for him. Sure. Maybe he'll go to the wrong Vancouver. Something could happen. Uh, you know, he, he could be one of those, like, what was that, White Knights with uh, Mikhail Baryshnikov? Wow. Gregory Hines things where the plane is forced down. And Look at you, man. You're going White Knights on me. Next, you're going to go Ice Castles. Next, you're going to go Robbie Benson on me here. Wait, wait a second. Now, White Knights, I mean, it was not a perfectly executed film, but it was an interesting conceit, and, and mm. there is a parallel here. Look, I mean, I did not think you and I would be debating the merits of a Baryshnikov uh, film. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I didn't know, but if, if I had to go Gregory Hines, uh, I'd go about that, that one with uh, him and uh, Billy Crystal, right? I mean... Oh, yeah, what was, what was that buddy movie? They were both cops. Yeah. What was it called? What was the name of the Billy Crystal, uh, Gregory Hines film? I should know that. Running Scared. Running Scared, everybody. Running scared. Well done, Mike Del Tufo's a factor. Hey, I have Jim Brown in studio. You got any good Jim Brown stories from your childhood? Are you with, uh, you with your dad and Jim Brown? Yeah, all? I don't know how many I can tell. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, w I will say this about Jim Brown. Uh, uh, my father played lacrosse at Cornell. Yep. He was a couple years older than Jim, or a year older, but two years ahead of him in school. And, and my father ended up being named like second team All East as the Cornell goalie when he was a senior. 
uh, based strictly on his performance against Jim Brown at Syracuse that spring in the game that Cornell and Syracuse played against each other. I think he had like seven saves. Uh, Brown had like 10 shots, and my father made seven saves, and he didn't see any of the balls he said that he saved. They just bounced off his head. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> wow. They grew up together. Did they really? You know, uh, they grew up together on the island. Uh, you know, Jim was in Manhasset after he moved up from the south. My father was in Freeport, and they had known each other uh, throughout that time. In fact, when, when Jim was a senior at Manhasset, my father was a freshman at Cornell. My father arranged an alumni meeting for Jim Brown uh, with one of Cornell's most famous alumni, the great Bud Holland, who was one of the greatest college football players in the 1930s, and was one of the first United States ambassadors to be African, uh, who was African American. U.S. Ambassador Sweet, very distinguished guy, very, very smart guy, but he was unimpressed with Jim Brown's high school transcript and declined to interview him. So you're the only guy who can basically talk about, uh, about Manhasset and where, you know, that all that back in the day with Jim Brown and, uh, what's the name of the, the, the Cornell coach you just mentioned? The Cornell, Cornell great player, Brud, Brud Holland. Okay, so you can go, you, you're the only one who can do that? and white knights in the same conversation. Thank you. I think seriously, you. I don't think there's anybody with that sort of range. That's, you know, and that's what I pride myself on, as you know, being know. Uh, eclectic. <laughs> You're a raconteur, sir. <laughs> uh, before I let you go, you, uh, I, I don't know how, how, how into it you are, but do you think American Pharaoh pulls it off? You think he, you think he does it? Jack? You know what? Uh, I, I, I don't. Uh, this, is, this is my feeling, though, in general about, you know, what is it now? 14 horses won the first two. 17. <clears throat> I'm talking about since a firm. Yeah, I think it's right. okay. 14. I'm sorry, Whatever you go, is. you go, Shappy. I'll Whatever it is, yeah. I think this is, he's the 13th who's attempting to win it after winning the first, because one of them I won see. the first two, but didn't run the Belmont. Hey, it, it's just, it's too hard a race for the way these horses are bred today. And, 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 you know, what you do in the Derby and the Preakness, we just seen time and time again, has little or no bearing on what you can do in the Belmont. It's just a, it's a different race. These horses have been overbred. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of talking out of my ass, but I've talked to Joe Drape about this a lot. I, can, I can't name all 11 Triple Crown winners for you, right? Uh, but I won't bore you with that. And um, I was there when Spectacular Bid lost in 1980. I need to. Uh, I need to stop you though, Jeremy. Go for uh, it. I want on. it. I want it. You know I want it's it. It's getting rolling. You know I want. Okay, go. Let's finish your spectacular bit, and then before this is I. your story. That okay. spring, I was down in Florida with my father. We were at Del Miller's, um, at Del Miller's stables, and everybody was talking about spectacular bit. And he asked me. I was nine. He said, "What do you think of this horse?" I said, "He's going to win the Derby and the Preakness, but he's not going to win the Belmont." And I was right. You were. I put, I put five dollars on Coastal at Belmont that, that year. I won twenty-five bucks. Okay, I'm now, before I'm letting you go, I'm now Googling Triple Crown winners. I have it. You do have it? I have it. Okay, you've got the list. Shap? I'm now looking at the computer. Of course you're not. I'm this up now after I promised I would get it right. I oh, take, a, take a breath if you need. Do you need a beat? Do you in need In order? No, no. I, I, I'm, I, I'm not going to be able to do it in order, but I think I'm going to get all 11. It's Sir Barton. Correct. Gallant Fox. Correct. Count Fleet. Correct. War Admiral. Correct. Omaha. Yes. Citation. Yes. Assault. Correct. Secretariat. Correct. Seattle Flu. One more. And a firm. Yes. You know what? Was that in order too? Not in order. Okay. But where did I screw up? Did you see the deer? Well, you were going to look in the order. In terms of the order. What are you going to wrong? Oh, I got You said citation before. You went back to Omaha, too. Actually, there's one more. There is one more. There's one more. Oh, what did I forget? I said citation. Word of the way in 1941. Count Fleet, Sir Barton, Gallant Fox, uh, World Away. Atta boy. Yes. Eddie Arcaro, right? Was Shabby, the world well done. Eddie sir. Arcaro was the jockey. Jeremy, yes. thanks for calling in, bud. You be well. Okay. Best of Jocelyn. Gotcha. Here you go. Yes. Jeremy Shap, the only man who can talk out of his ass and still win an Emmy Award by talking out of that orifice. <laughs> Joining us here on the Rich Eisen Show. Let's take a break. When we come back... I'll tell you what Jeremy can also say in order also, and I've heard this. Next time he comes on, I'm going to make him do it too. And well done pulling the White Knights soundtrack up to go to break. To play us out, Lionel Richie.
Bridge Eisen Show. Streaming live online at BridgeEisenShow.com. If you're in the market for a new car and want to have an amazing new experience buying it, you need to check out TrueCar. With TrueCar, all you need to do is choose your new car, build it inside and out, and then TrueCar shows you what others paid for it. It's a fun way to buy a car that helps you be sure you never overpay. Once you decide on the car you want, you can connect with TrueCar's certified dealers and lock in a guaranteed savings off MSRP. Usually over three grand. Save time, save money, and never overpay. Download the True Car app today. Geico RV presents Reflections from the Road. After a few hours riding in my RV, I get in the zone. It's just me, the road, and the savings I get with Geico RV insurance. There's no more worries, no more nine to five hustle. It's like I'm a caged animal set free. What's that? Is it a grizzly bear? No, it's just me switching to Geico RV insurance. In one week, our car broke down, and our roof started a leak. We really needed money for repairs. I really needed to move to a bigger apartment. But with my credit card payments and other bills, I couldn't afford the security deposit. When over 100,000 people needed money this year, they turned to Avant. Avant was great. They relieved a lot of financial stress. I was approved for a personal loan through Avant. The next day, I had $4,000 in my account. Avant can get you the personal loan you need fast. It's simple to apply, and there's no risk, because checking your rate with Avant has no effect on your FICO score. Right now, Avant will also give you a $50 Amazon.com gift card after your first installment is made on time. To check your rates risk-free and get this special offer, go to Avant.com today and enter promo code 8484 at checkout. That's www.avant.com, promo code 8484. Loans are made by WebBank. Equal housing lender and by affiliates of Avant. Incorporated. California loans offered by Avon will be made under financial lender's license number 603K124. Funds are generally deposited by ACH for the next business day approved by 4 p.m. Central Time Monday through Friday. Amazon is not sponsored this promotion. Other issues apply. See website for details. Angels Radio. AM 830. Hi, this is Jason Brennan. Great teams produce great results. At Car Pro's Kia Huntington Beach, OC's best Kia store, we know what's important. Now, this is especially true when it comes to buying a car. That's why I'm recommending that you take a good look at the 2015 Kia Optima. Get away from your gas guzzler. The Kia Optima gets 23 miles per gallon in the city, 34 on highway. It's a beautiful car, sleek design, unparalleled technology, comfortable to be in. You've got to see the Optima for yourself. Go to Car Pro's Kia Huntington Beach, OC's best Kia store. At Car Pro's Kia Huntington Beach, you can drive home. A brand new 2015 Kia Optima for only $139 a month. It has $139 per month and a 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. You can't beat that. Take a short drive down the 405 to Beach Boulevard. Car Pro's Kia at Huntington Beach. 3995 is actually supposed to be used for that month. We're here to talk about the But mortgage rates are even lower. To hear how low, and so much more, tune in every weekend to the new American Funding Radio Show. Call 800-827-RATE. 800-827-RATE. And listen this weekend to the new American Funding Radio Show. Licensed by the California Department of Business Oversight under the Residential Mortgage Lending Act, license number 4131117, not all applicants qualify equal housing lender NMLS 6606. You know, Greeny, we're both lucky enough to own a few acres of land, and every landowner knows that you need a reliable tractor. That's right, Golic. We both have Mahindra tractors and couldn't be happier with them. My Mahindra Max does everything I need a tractor to do and more. Same here. The Mahindra Max is a subcompact tractor, but it's not some glorified lawnmower. It has a true heavy-duty tractor frame to take on big jobs, so whatever work you need done on your property, a bright red Mahindra tractor can get the job done. Now, here's the best part. When you buy a Mahindra Max or Emax, you can get zero interest for 84 months and Mahindra's famous five-year warranty. See, even Mike and Mike agree. Take home the world's number one selling tractor from our good friends at Mahindra. Visit MahindraUSA.com. Care for the land you love with the world's number one selling tractor, Mahindra. Mahindra tractors are assembled right here in the USA and backed by an industry-leading five-year warranty. Find your Mahindra dealer at MahindraUSA.com. Mahindra, the toughest tractor on earth. summer savings time at Irvine Auto Center. You'll find hot deals in the hottest cars, trucks, and SUVs at every Irvine Auto Center store. I got mine, Irvine! Visit 
IrvineAutoCenter.com and check out the sizzling summer savings or come visit us just minutes away in Irvine. <laughs> Casino is the place to experience it all. Pachanga is California's largest and most excited casino with more slots, the most jackpots, and the largest poker room in state-of-the-art bingo. And with our four diamond resorts, the hottest nightlife and comedy, first class dining, an amazing spa, and award-winning golf course, and now with an incredible new lobby and restaurant, Pachanga really does have it all. Experience it all at Pachanga. Book your Pachanga experience today at Pachanga.com. Just off the 15th freeway in Temecula. been on vacation with Shappy. This has happened. Susie and I went uh, to London, and Shapp was part of the crew. And he mentioned how Queen Elizabeth is long line of royals, and said, I can name the entire line leading up to no, Queen Elizabeth. And I'm like, you mean like from Braveheart? Like Longshanks and stuff? <laughs> And he said, yes. And he goes one by one. We called it up on our phone, which, you know, costs a lot of money. Right. There's a lot of, there's a lot of data. data. Yeah, yeah. it cost a lot, but it was worth it. Called it up on our phone and watched him go one by one. King this, queen that, queen this the fourth, queen king that, I mean, king this the whatever. Next time he's on, we gotta do it. Oh my God. And then I'm like, can you now name the 1980 royals that were managed by Dick Hauser? Can you go there? And he came close. <laughs> He's unbelievable. Amazing. Now, are you going to play more Gregory Hines tunes? The rest of the, I mean, because if you go Cotton Club, Muppets Take Manhattan, you're going to go there on wow. the works. Muppet on works. By the way, Eddie Acaro, the jockey for World Away oh, yeah. in 1941. Yes. Also the jockey for Citation in 48. Eddie Acaro is a very famous jockey. And how about that? You got any Jim Brown stories on? Yeah, if you. Well, you know, my dad took 10 shots in goal from Jim Brown. Seven, seven, of, seven of them. Couldn't see him. Couldn't see any of them. <laughs> well, okay, Jeremy, what else you got? God. Hank the Hammer Goldberg will be joining us next. Get your tickets ready, people. He's going to let you know where the good money is. It's been, uh, 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 we'll, we'll find it. Is the American Pharoah still three to five or four to five? Don't answer that question. That's happening. Saturday afternoon, June 6th, 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 Pacific, Premier Boxing Champions returns to NBC with one of the biggest names in the sport, superstar Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Expect this warrior to bring his exciting, relentless style to battle in every round against the determined and rugged veteran Aaron Martinez. Plus, Dominic Brazil takes on Yasmani Consaguero, Premier Boxing Champions, Saturday, June 6th, 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 Pacific, live on NBC. Another golf confessional brought to you by Golfsmith. A man told his wife he only wanted a nice car this Father's Day, so she went to Golfsmith and got the new tailor-made arrow burner iron set and a free $100 gift card. He was overwhelmed by the thoughtfulness of the card and couldn't really blame her for keeping the irons for herself. Hurry into Golfsmith from now until June 28 and get a free gift card of up to $100 when you purchase a new tailor-made arrow burner club. Golfsmith, anything for golf. Get to the Monkey Sports Superstore on Irvine for all your baseball, hockey, and lacrosse needs. For hours and directions, go to monkeysports.com slash Irvine. The Monkey Sports Superstore on the Rock of Park. Here's what's making headlines in SoCal Sports with Roger Lodge. 
Guy am Roger Lodge, and I've got your Friday Sports Lodge morning. Joel, how about game one of the NBA Finals last night? That thing was a doozy. First OT to the Finals game one since the answer dropped 48 on the Lakers back in 01. LeBron James put 44 on the board last night against the Warriors, but it wasn't enough as Golden State got 47 from the Splash Brothers and a combined 38 from Iguodala, Green, and Barnes. And the Warriors take game one in overtime, 108 to 100. Afterwards, LeBron James. What is it for me to make plays? That's what I did. Kyrie Irving. And if that's the case, this thing could be over in a hurry. Oh, and one more thing, LeBron. Go back to the headband. Angels pinstripes all weekend from the Bronx. The dirtbag, the Oklahoma kid, and CJ Handsome. They're all lined up for a We'll add up to a series victory in New York. Our Halos start the weekend 28 and 26, five and a half games back of the Astros. Don't forget, every pitch, every hit, and every win is right here on Angels Radio AM 830. Pre-game coming up today at 2.30.